So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what 
what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leith, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so, so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I saved too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it! Wow. You two are already wonder-twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. 
We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> hey ladies, what are you drinking? <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Aww. I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by him. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Shut 
trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. Crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick.
Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so... You're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, Palmer, the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. Uh, color me impressed. Ninth Warden. Hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars. And friend. To lonely children everywhere. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can... Huh. Colorado digs its alt-rock, I see. Huh. Colorado digs its alt-rock, I see. I love that this town has their own radio station. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Wait. Is that the hold list? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. Huh. Colorado digs its alt-rock, I see. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? It's been so long since I've played. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. In these troubling times, 
The world could really use more rock. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Maybe that drawer? It could be. Celine Dion's greatest hits? You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. Maybe in the junk box. Ah, and we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. 
Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. You okay? I'm great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's got... Gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the lantern until she gets off work but I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. The dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like Dad Plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover?
You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail? I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. 
Gabe, I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado Welcome Kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. God, I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> What even is that? You're way off tempo. <laughs> you just gotta let the beef flow through you. Your turn. Yeah, that's all you. Stop! Give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. 
because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass <sighs> right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. It's okay. You're just this fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Wait, Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh God, Shu Shu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented.
No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only... Crazy how much we've changed. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now?
You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. I hit Gabe because of this stupid mess. Alex, do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo, they were one of the good ones. Wow, Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least, whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Gabe brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. We didn't even get to finish the song. Is that a sword? Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Okay, how did he get this up here? Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, it looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow. I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine.
I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work. If experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar, all right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One burger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. 
I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get... Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's sticklers about that. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. It's a security concern. I mean, sure. But it's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. Starting over from scratch sure, like this? No. Well, Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're really, telling I, me. I like my job. Starting over from scratch like this? <laughs> Fucking Don't terrifying is what it is. For sedition or anything. It's getting better, for sure. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all... Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. I messed Mac up pretty good. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She 
She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. But, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So, you were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm going to have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Uh, nobody's in trouble here. <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Venison and leek pie. I need to try that. What a class act. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? 
We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I was glad to have you. I can see you're a hard worker. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. That's Charlotte's dispensary. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people. Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. I was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac?
There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. <laughs> That's true most of the time. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. 
He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Cool. A murder barn. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murder -y. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Wow. 
Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his co- Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. I think Thanor went a different way. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. Let me know if you find anything, yeah? Wait, so... Did Ethan... There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he... Have I got some good news for you. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Hmm. I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how, how did he get out of here? 
Not sure. I'm gonna have a look. Wasn't in the comic. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Something tells me I'm gonna need a tetanus shot after... Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Wonders never cease. Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. Thanks for nothing, giant yellow button. Brian seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex?
Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. about me Alex uh, are you sure remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay awesome show me Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex. Can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Doing great, sis. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. 
Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. A log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, alright? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the 
log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am going to hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay.